Ignatius, Port Sumner. I'll go back to the Rogue Campaign, 5.0. Right, D&D. &D. Good times. We, I believe it is... Uh, the guard dude's turn. Yes, it is. He is going to smirk at Lilith, say nothing else, and walk out. Psh. Not the doors right here. Wait, oh. I'm working on the thing. Move him six squares out. In fact, double move him toward the bar. He is next to the bar. He is waving down the bartender at this point. He's like, damn yes. it. Came. All right. Hand in the air. I'm calling This dude it. is clearly panicked. Probably because of Lilith. In fact, definitely because of Lilith. <laughs> definitely. A hundred percent. Like, there's no, nothing else. Definitely. Like, uh, Look at ninety five percent Lilith and five percent just because he's a really rich dude in a CD bar on the docks. Yeah, he's freaking out. He doesn't want to die. What do you do? Um He's actually like as he was running into you and you sort of yell at him. He was screaming for his guards. Okay. You're right there. All right. I'm leaving a message. We do. All right. He's going to try to go. All right. So the guards are probably starting to try to come in. They are working on it. All right. Kane is going to try to. He's just going to try to leave. Okay. After he gets knocked over, like. He's Basically, like, like, this. like he, like he gets ran into, or, or will we say like, that, like knocked him off balance, or like knocked him over. Yeah, he he well, gets by running into it, me. It was sort of both glancing, so like he's still, he stopped right there because that's where he ended his turn. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not like he stopped. He's he's still in the process of moving. He just hasn't gotten his turn yet. Okay. So, Ken's gonna go. Up a couple spaces, go past the guard, mm -hmm. and their attention's elsewhere. Well, actually, uh, when when you go to do that, once you open the door, no, like the guards are going to be in the process of pushing the door because those are like double okay. doors. They're going to be pushing in uh, at the same time that you reach the door, so you can step back and wait. Which you can't wait. Okay. No I was hoping to get past them this turn. Or is that not happening? Uh, well, if you wait until they go... which Just is like hold action? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll, we'll kind of see... Alright, I'll do that. I'll, I'll hold my action until... Hurts. Well, the... Alright, so... Well, the guy is probably going to be go running out before... Yes. That, though. Well, they're going to go the same time that he does. They are sort of part of his okay. now, initiative. What I was hoping to do is hoping to get outside and go stealth again <laughs> once right. their attention has been diverted and then try to pick his pocket again. Oh. Anyway. Okay. So <laughs> you moved that to was, like... That was the idea. You were bumped from here back to here. That's appropriate, right? It's two yeah, spots. Sure. Well, I mean, it's actually it's just one. It's oh. diagonal. Okay. So you move one spot but that he way. Moved. He sort of sidestepped to get against the wall. Yeah, that's exactly what so that like, is. maybe lean or something. That's exactly what that is. He's going to wait for a minute. Okay. Beautiful. Fantastic. Egil. This guy. You see... Uh, oh, fuck. You see the other guard. No. As soon as he walks see out, him. stealth okay. check, walking this way. Great. Give it. Give it to me. Give me that roll. Uh, you have... It's dark, so you have... Advantage. Advantage. Eleven or six, so an eleven plus four. Well, the good news is like plus we've got, we've got two. Three and a half hours on, on battery sauce, so that's good. 
17 is my roll. 17 is pretty tasty. Excellent. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, you're in double move. 10, 11, 12. I don't think you can double move. I'm, I'm just saying, stealth. double move, I could be right here. Right, but the point is to move stealthily. Stealthily? You can't move quite as fast. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sure I can be here. Dead silent. What, 8? No, I'm just trying to think if you have. Because six or eight like, is a big difference. Movement. I don't have the bike at the top. Um, I don't know what the what the speed is for stealth. I want to say what's my speed? Thirty feet. But it's six squares. Yeah, as, as the case may be. Uh, it, Three point five they use feet. Four point five they use squares because it was more easy, relevant, to more or less to, math. To four, uh, uh, Oh, pardon me. So that's six squares. Got it. We're good. Just give me one second, fellas. Hot second and a flip. <laughs> Shite. Oh, here we go. Stealth. Skill. Stealth fighting travel. Uh, dexterity. Oh, okay. I actually know what that is. It is under skills and scores. Dexterity. Still. Really? Seriously? And yes. That is. Oh, when you try to hide, make a. Booby booby blah. Boobity boobity blah. Okay, um, that's not overtly specific. That's handy. Boobs. So, make up your mind. I'm, well, I'm sorry to rush you, I'm sorry. Just sounds rule to whatever you're comfortable with. So, stealth is involved here. I don't well, know if perception has a bit, but acrobatics may have a bit. I will say... Acrobatics and stealth. That if you're stealthing... On this creaky floor. You can move your full speed, assuming that nothing else hinders you, like... Yeah, there's nothing. ...range or like that. However... You can't stealth a double, double move. move. Yeah. So six moves see, puts me right here. I think that's pretty reasonable because that's a that's a pretty far distance. Yeah, and so I can see him so. clear as day. I'll just say, because I rolled such a nice stealth, I slide yeah. into this chair, which is one square Neat. away. I'm okay with that. Yes. I have no qualms with hey, that. Hey, so no, it's great. So what did the coincidence occur? That there is a cup in this table that I just grabbed because it looks like it's mine. Roll it. Serendipity. No. Serendipity's not a d20. Well, it can be, but it's what is it? not. Percentile. That's a 12. That's a 10. Oh no! That is a 17. Like, I want to play. 17. There is not a mug. It could be a 71, but whatever. No, it was the ten. It was a ten and a seven, which is seventeen. That's why you roll those two dice. So you, Shut up! Shut up! So you can't fuck it up. I don't want to hear your so you sass. Can't fuck it up. Get your sass out of here. All right, uh, yep. douche is going <laughs> to. Uh, okay, so his guards are going to burst through the door, and boom, uh, he's going to run out. Now, Kane. You can make your move. Here's the thing. That's six. I'm just it's saying. important that you know this. Because uh, you saw it on your way in. I should have pointed it out earlier, but it, did, it wasn't pertinent until now. About 30 feet out from that door, yes, is a bell. A bell. Ooh. A bell. That things. It's not like in Assassin's Creed where you can cut the... Yeah, the, but the, it, it's, the, a gun. It's, 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 it's like a, a bell. metal chain kind of it's thing. It's a bell. But it's an alarm bell. It's right there. If he gets to it... Shit. The guards come. Shit. And the guards come in plenty. In plenty? Because the guild is very strict about maintaining order. It's, it's right 
30 feet from the door? It's about the end of the table. Yeah. Now, technically speaking, the Thieves' Guild is sanctioned by the Guild. The issue is they have a very strict non-disclosure policy, so... As in, they have no idea what the fuck the Thieves' Guild is doing. Right. It has they, nothing to do they, with anything else. They appreciate the Thieves' Guild's money, but... But they don't want anything else to do The Thieves' Guild it. pleads... Uh, to the fifth. Non... Like... What's, what, non what's, what's the Mission Impossible line? No... They, they will disavow all knowledge of your actions. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Part of the... Don't ask, don't tell. Anyway, so... Yes. Um, this guy, he can make it to right here. He needs another one, two, three to get to the bell. Or so. Yes. Now, you have an opportunity here because you held your action. And he walked he from starting to move. here. Now, because he does not know that you are attacking him, you have advantage on the attack, which means that you get sneak attack damage. You so said to just try to knock the guy out? Right. Insane. That's the point. So, that's okay. my point. Whether or not you choose to do it is entirely up to you. But if he gets to the bell, shit, problems occur. Now, because, here's, here's the, the, the kicker, so to speak. He doesn't know that the scroll's missing. He just bumped into you. He doesn't think yeah. that you're with Psycho bitch. <laughs> right? He's not suspecting you. <laughs> so, you are not suspect. You could go sit down and nobody would be the wiser. Other than the fact that you have his piece of paper. Uh, which is, is tricky. Tricky indeed. Um, so, it's totally up to you. Whatever you I mean, want to do. It will make life difficult for your comrades. Yeah. The best. But not you. You're I mean, set. He, by the way, when they enter, he screams like, The back room! We were attacked by a tiefling. Or a demon. I guess he would probably end up saying demon, even though she doesn't have overtly demon features other than maybe small horns and the eyes. Whatever. These guys don't even flinch, right? No, they they probably laugh and keep drinking because they think it's funny. It's like, that, <laughs> that, that the tubby rich Drake. guy is like terrified. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a demon attacked us in the back room. Does he not get up and deal in with the process? It. No. No. Not they really. don't give a damn You're, shit. No. All right. It's not their business. It's not their problem. They don't care. Um, Kane, it is your uh, well. Uh, yeah, it's you and them. Actually, this is really convenient because you and uh, actually the guard technically goes. Wait, you they don't go actually. This is the guard. Move the guard. My my sincerest apologies. But now now you know what's going on. He's, that's probably where he's running to, etc. Um, the guard's going to go up to the pub and uh, order a drink. And uh, sit there and, and, and enjoy it. Embellish. Sorry, Kane. Okay. Uh, apologies. Douche goes after Egil, which is lovely. But you can tell that he's panicking. He's running. You actually don't know. You don't know that he's going for the bell, but you know there is a bell out there. And yeah. It is a risk. Um. I mean, really, the only thing that's, like, still on him, like, just valuable-wise, is just his valuables. Hey. You, Which we, we noticed earlier. Nice. That there could be a platinum at the bottom. It's not like that shipment, there is a platinum at the bottom. But him, there could. He has, the word is, he could. Has he has gold. Could be a platinum. You know there is more than one gold. There is more than one gold in his pocket. That's just a little satchel on the side. His rings, his jacket, his hat, his shoes. That is more yep. than a gold. <laughs> but but this guy's an asshole. He bumped into you, you step back, you run this way, they bust in. They're still through the door-ish. So they've opened the door up now. They're like, Ugh! Well. No? 
Okay, or no, they move. They, have they it. move like, when he does. Right, they move when he does. They are at the door. So as he moves to this line, they're on this line. So technically, I had to move before them. Then that's right. That's they damn can right. Going there. That's damn that's right. That's true. So you could leave, I guess, if you so chose. Yeah. No, that's what I wanted to do anyway. Okay, to get yes. out here anyway. Yes, you can do that. Ahead of them. Right. He ran ahead. Gentlemen. <laughs> You say politely. Boom. As soon as he does that, they're like, who's coming next? Okay. And <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and try to go stealth to where when he comes back out, immediately. Don't re re recognize that. Ooh, right like there, the you're going. Or right behind or there, just you're even going over by the, by the bell. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm okay. sure that like there are people like around there. Yeah. Okay. It's so, like a plaque near the bell that says for emergencies only. Yeah. Like it's it's a tamper proof bell. That's unfortunate. Anyway, it's an eleven. This guy, okay. if okay. he's going to the door, I'm just saying, if he's going to the door. You can't all, hide in plain sight yet, by the way. I know. Sorry, what? All three of these guys need some sort of acrobatics check because they're ready on this side of the door that opens that way. Well, he's yelling. So, like, they're going to bust open the door immediately so, as he's running. Did out. they step back this way, stay on that, the edge, or did they stay right? Did they jump in front the of the door? No. Are they, they. Not yet, but, like, they're about to. Cause okay. He's because I open the door just, these just, back, two just ahead of them. Brute guys are standing out here. He flails it open. They're like, okay. Do they move? No, like, he, okay. well, he doesn't run out. He just walks out. And like, what's up, guys? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna well, head out. He was running. If he was <laughs> running, we'll well, see you that's, later. that's the end of that was the end All of right, his turn. Yeah. I'm out ahead of him. Okay, yeah. He was like, "Fuck this, I'm out." All right, so he's like in his slight he's, moment of he's, disorientation. He's of tripping into over me, his feet. Still. I got out ahead of him and left. He, he just cleared yeah. up from tripping over his own feet. What the hell, man? I'm just trying to leave here. Yeah. Yeah, Ejul. Ejul. So this is a dock, so there's like crates and stuff to hide by. Uh, I'll, out I'll, here, I'll, I'll just bear it in mind. You want to there? Got it. Oh, it's not important. You don't have to draw anyway, it um, dice. so he's moving this way. That's you. Yeah, yeah. It's Ejul's turn, right? Oh yes. This is Ejul. So I can move to here. Yes. What is that? Bell. A stealth check. Nice. I'm okay with that being the bell. It, it it actually it probably is encased in glass. Like you know. Yep. The, the bulletproof, knife proof. That's right at nine. Type. Stuff. Anyway. So. Magic hordes and shit all over it, so you can't just. If it. if he he decides in the commotion to move to there, is that a stealth check? Or is that uh, an what, uh, what are you trying to do? He is disoriented because he just ran into uh, Kane. But he is he's sort of facing that way. No, he's oh facing, no, he's facing back. He's not facing back. He's facing the door this way. This this door right here, or this door? That door. This door. That door. Yes. Okay. Perpendicular so, to his exit. So, Ejul jumps up and immediately asks, Do you need some help, my friend? Can you move over? Okay. No! No! He just says no. In, in panic, no. Alright, does he turn around or does he stay facing me? He probably yells, get away from me. <laughs> yeah, get... No! Don't touch me! Alright, well, I... I'm standing right here. And I'm not going to attack him or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, I'm this ready this fucking before. dwarf. Hey, 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 pick up that dice before it's can't get sick. Ah. Uh. Die. No. Gotta. Ooh. Give me a serendipity roll. 20. No. Percentile. Percentile. <laughs> you never remember that. Hey, hey, numbers, numbers and me, assholes. Really? Really? You're an engineer. That's hilarious. <laughs> Arithmetic, not so much. Concept, 
images processes 700. Seven or, or seven, shut up, you yeah, fucking that's asshole. Seven. That's okay. a big debate problem right there because that could be seven hundred. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that could be seven hundred. Not a percentile. If it's a one point one, it could be a None percentile. None of your sass. Hey, your sass. All right. Is red. <laughs> he got you there. Yeah, I, I have no response to that. So that, I know. that's totally fine. There is no okay. response. Okay. He's just panicked, and he's doing a lot of more, like... Panicky uh, things. Uh, yeah. Well... Right. Uh, Ejul just went... Is, is that all you're going to do? Well, he I... He moved. I, I didn't want to attack him outright. There's no fight going on. He's not an instigator. He just wants to be in the center of the fight. So he did. He got to the center of what the fight might oh, be. Oh, about. I mean, I'm just saying you're not threatening. I guess right now. No, but he jumped. He jumped down there. He didn't do it so gracefully. Well, actually, uh, sorry. Question: Are your hatchets still in your hands? Yeah, he, he didn't let go. He was. He was like. All right, that's pertinent. That's yes, quite pertinent. Yeah. He's about to, no, he's, he's freaking out. He already. sat down he here. Like, so we get he had two hatches. No one noticed two hatches the there. Hatchet. He kind of stealthily got to right here. It's like, do you need some help? These guys all heard, you need some help? Why the fuck does he need help? Did something happen? Hatchets. Okay. Anyway, there's two uh, hatchets in his hands. No, don't kill me. I gotta call the guards. It's like, all right. No, that's I'm, bad. I'm playing along. Is that Fair deception? Enough. No. I didn't it, think it, it was deception. I mean, it doesn't matter because he, okay. he is running to call the guards. Yeah. And you know that now. Oh, hold on. It's what he just said it. So, there's two assholes right here that I have not seen. That is accurate. This bitch hasn't moved yet. She can move one, two... Or it's on her... Well... In the meantime, one, two, three, four, five, six. She can move to here. Great. She's not out of the hallway. Perfect. Anyway, so... As I said, they work conveniently well together. I'm just... I'm just gonna throw a attack roll. I'm aiming for his waist ass. I can't say words. Anyway, waist ass part of the belt that would chop off all the waist pieces. Kind of. You're trying to drop his pants. Yes. I'm with trying your to shank hatchet. Him. I'm trying to shank him with my hatchet. That's exactly right. Are you going lethal? No. I I want to like. I I'm okay with breaking his leg. I don't want to kill him though. I was like, I'm gonna get your legs and I'm gonna cut off your belt or cut off like one of these swipes down the okay. side. Two points. One of those. One is you're not cutting anything for going non lethal. Because All right. you can't hit with a blade. Because that's what that does lethal damage. You have right. to hit with, with the other side. Which it's is just fine. High. Like you can still smack the shit out of him. It just you can't drop his drawers or anything. This was his favorite axe. Well that's great. Right. Right Look. If you want to hit him with this lethal had damage, a that's nice fine, but there are repercussions for murder. Pointy hook. <laughs> there was a nice pointy hook on his right hand. That's what he's swinging with, alright? Oh, it's a, a pointy hook. hook. On the axe. On the right hand. Like, the back side of it has a pointy hook. Remember? No, I don't. A we never discussed that. But yeah, we did. Fuck you. No, no we didn't. I so, you we didn't. he has a pointy didn't. hook on his favorite axe. None of your sass. Your sass is getting out of here. His pointy hook is on the tip of his favorite axe. The front side has an axe, it's a little hatchet, but the back side has a pointy hook. He's swinging with that pointy hook, alright? Great. It's lethal, it could be lethal. Roll it. He's rolling for a side swipe to hit his side. What, okay. How's my damage roll with the uh, axe? It's a d20. And it's a d20? To hit is always a d20. Oh, the damage yes, yes, is yes. Separate. Yes. It's an 18. Plus my strength or dexterity. That is definitely be, a hit. That it's yeah. a dexterity that is check. So a hit. It's a dexterity check. You rolled a check natural eighteen. That's a hit. Doesn't because matter. I was working on that side swipe, hitting his belt on the side. Fantastic roll damage. That's a twenty. Anyway, damage. What is that? A d six. Two d six. Your hatchet damage. No, like on your attack sheet. You have two different attacks. Nope. Nope. Down. Give me the paper. 
Damn it. These are your attacks. Light hammer. You fucking pay attention, bro. Yep. Four. Plus it's a four. hammer. It's not even an axe. What's wrong with oh, you? D oh, yeah. It's, um... A D6. I, that's, that's not a number. Light hammer. You have hammers, not axes. Just so you know. Hammer right, thank you. Cut. And you can... Because it's blunt damage, you can do some build with that. No problem. Pointy tip on the uh, back of this hammer. A light hammer is D4 plus two. D4 plus two. Yes. One D4. That is accurate. We'll get you there, Eli. That's a two. It'll take a minute. Plus so two is four. Four. Four on a nice side swipe to the side. It was with the pointy end no, of this no, hammer. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to. You think. know, think think about the nail prying Stop. tip. I can't. I know because you're drunk and you always talk when you're drunk, which is fine, I guess. But just give me a second. I'm trying to think as to whether or not you would have combat advantage. I don't think you would. That's okay because this guy doesn't have a huge amount of hit points. Four? Alright. Douche. Four damage. Brilliant. You injure his leg, which will reduce his... You don't break his leg, but you... you it's cut it. up. You hit it pretty good. It's not cut up. It's a hammer. Hammers don't do slicing. It, it, it's bruised up. It's bruised up. He falls. Pain. He doesn't fall, but he he will be slowed for a bit. <coughs> Pardon me? Douche. <coughs> no. We go in. In the door. One step in. And he says, as he's running out, that dude just hit me with a hammer. And he has two hammers in his hands. Yes, he does. And they're going to run in and attack you. And then we'll do his, his movement in a minute. Just move him right out the door. Alright, so he's going to square up. So it's like one, two, three, four. He was. Yeah. So he can only move four right now because yeah. he's all like in That's, and that's stuff. right here. That's great. Can, oh, can she oh. move? Not yeah, it's not her turn yet. Bruh. Bruh. Before this combat begins, we'll end the video. Before this whole the guards attack Egil. Yes. So, till next time guys, Bone Tuna. And we'll see you next recording. Or hear you. Whatever. You know how it is.